City presents three tips for getting started online. Hey, Bart Gansert, faculty development specialist, coming at you from my COVID-19 free back porch in beautiful Southside Winston-Salem. Today, uh, I just wanted to go over a couple of things uh, with you in this uh, quick video. Uh, three things that you should be thinking about or doing uh, in your online course as it opens this week for your students. Uh, these are very important things and I think you can also maximize the effectiveness of engaging those students from the start and being able to kick your class off. These three tips will help you get off to a great start uh, with your online courses, whether you're going by the week or whether you want to get these things rolling uh, the first day. Make sure that you're touching all of these elements and you continue to work with them as you proceed through the course. First of all, implement early checkups and frequent check-ins. Make sure you introduce students to the course before they begin. Uh, let them know exactly what your expectations are and just give them a warm-up to how you're going to be and how you're going to be addressing them personally through the course. This can be done through an early email, and this isn't on the first day of this course. This means several days or even a week before the course starts, just to get them acclimated and to let them know what to expect once they go into that LMS. Offer links or instructions for navigating the course. Don't assume that your students will already know how to use Canvas or the LMS that you are putting your course into. Uh, provide some sort of instructions for your particular navigation, where you like to keep things, where you may be storing very specific or very important assignments or content. And of course, use the available links that your LMS already has in order to show your students how to navigate the course. These can be in video form or they can be in written form. Uh, one good example is in the first couple of days of the course is to give them a scavenger hunt, students a scavenger hunt, where they go and they locate elements that you're going to have them using in the course. That way they have to go to all the areas of the course to familiarize themselves with it. Check student progress using short assessments or discussions, uh, using very short quizzes, uh, graded or ungraded, or even discussion forums are a good way to find out who was attending the class and who may have dropped out or who is having difficulty being able to attend your course regularly. Second, communicate clearly and effectively. Make sure you're very specific about your course expectations. And this, this starts off from your, very, from your introductory email. Uh, what this, this can pertain to your login frequency, how, how often you want your students to come into the course, if you expect them every day, if you expect them at certain times for certain assignments, or if they just need to log in within a week. Make sure that this is spelled out so that your students don't make it up for you. Due dates in particular are very important for assignments. Make sure that you have a not only a master schedule available to students to use that is outside of your syllabus, but also you take advantage of some of the tools that, that the LMS gives you, for instance, the course calendar. Post a master schedule that is separate from your syllabus. This is important because, as we know, the students don't fully often read what we work into our syllabus. I know the syllabus is kind of like the master document for everything that your course is, but sometimes it's best to break it out for your students and it will save you a lot of questions in your email. Engage students daily. Now, um, I believe that you should engage students daily, but it doesn't have to be through an announcement. It doesn't have to be through an email. It can be in a lot of different varieties. This can be done through a discussion forum. That's an, that's an engagement. It can be done through you know, a reminder for group work or a reminder of things coming up. Finally, number three, develop community engagement in your course. Set up meeting places or discussion forums for students to visit for non-content course conversations. Uh, this has to do with uh, information of the course, interactions in the course that work outside of the learning, specific content learning you want your students to do. Uh, oftentimes, there are housekeeping issues that need to be taken care of. So a coffee house is a good example to have, you know, sort of a sort of an open forum for students to go in. I didn't understand the last assignment. Did anyone else have difficulty with it? Uh, questions like that. Uh, you can get an insight as to where your students may be having difficulty, but it's also a good way for your students to engage each other uh, without having to do it within a specific assignment, especially a graded assignment. Finally, uh, a forum for technical questions. Uh, this is just a good place to have in case you have students that have a technical question that you may not foresee. Um, oftentimes in a discussion forum or even in a wiki format, these questions can be answered before you even get there. Um, you know, students are having difficulty with the link. You see that you may have to repost the link, that it could be broken. 
or if students can't find something, another student may chime in, oh, yeah, I found it in such and such a place, or it's over here, or you have to use uh, you have to use Chrome browser to open it up because I had difficulty in Internet Explorer. And that question would be answered. You wouldn't even have to go back. Have students interact in groups while working on projects to foster team unity. Another way to engage your students and to create community is to get them on group projects. These can be graded or ungraded. Uh, discussion forums work in a, a lot in the same way. You, have, you can divide students out. You can have them discuss certain issues or certain problems if within your course. Look for deeper learning opportunities with discussion questions. You're, you have a great opportunity with your discussion forums to engage students in different ways. Take advantage of those discussion forums and at some, at some point make sure that your students are engaging the content in a higher level of learning. This means having them analyze or evaluate elements of the content as opposed to simply answering questions or, 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 or redistributing facts. This is something that can be saved for your quizzes. I hope that these were helpful tips for you, and I wish you best of luck in proceeding with your course from here on. Remember, the continuity of these three things is very important for you finishing your course. So good luck and have a great semester.